Hey guys, welcome to the Moto Mule YouTube channel and part 5 of the mini Grave Digger monster truck build. If this is the first video that you've found on this build, please go watch parts 1 through 4 as well. They explain how we've gotten to this point in the build. In today's video, we are going to tackle the linkage suspension. Let's get to it! I really want to get this thing to the point of being a roller. Uh, one of the first steps I need to do is add some link mounts to this front axle housing so that I can build the links and get it attached to the uh, frame section over there. Uh, before I can add the links, I need to clean up some garbage still left behind on this housing. There's still a leaf spring perch and it looks like a little pad there to help keep the U-bolts lined up. So I'm going to get with the grinder and uh, eliminate that stuff. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Got the housing all cleaned up, ready to attach some link mounts. You can see the uh, extra pieces I no longer needed. Okay, let's get to designing the link mounts and get those welded to the axle housing. I have drawn up some uh, brackets that I can weld to the axle housing and we'll hold the links in place. So we'll just go ahead and uh, Cut those out on the old homemade CNC plasma cutter. All right, let's get to it. I've got the link brackets cut out and kind of laid out where they're going to go. The lowers on that side, the uppers on this side. I've got the uh, housing resting on the weld table 
you can see that it's kind of spaced up there. So I'm using the mounting surface for the third member as a reference to kind of keep it flat. So I'll go ahead and uh, assemble these link mount brackets, get them in place, and go ahead and weld them up. I've got the link mounts tacked in place on the housing. Hopefully you can kind of see that. We've got the top side. That tube in there is just basically a brace across there that'll act a little bit like a truss just because those upper link mounts are so long. I've got the uh, link mounts all mounted to this front housing. Put the wheels back on and slid a third member back in there so I can kind of start working on the links up here. In the back, I went ahead and uh, cleaned up and shortened the wishbone that I had on the old buggy that was already mounted to this axle once before. So that kind of made that easy. And for the rear links, I'm going to cut the ends off of these old links that were on the old buggy and make some shorter links for the rear of this grave digger. Uh, the rear is obviously a lot easier. The bottom links can just be straight. In the front, I'll have to uh, bend or curve the lower links to allow the front wheels to steer left and right. So it'll be a little more challenging. So I'll just go ahead and do the, do the rear first and then get to work on the front. No, that's one of your rear lower links. Oh, okay. All right, I got the easy links done, the rear end. We've got the lower links that are just short, straight links, and then the upper link is actually a wishbone setup. This way I won't need a uh, pan hard bar. This upper link will take care of keeping the axle located side to side. And then next up will be the front. And the front lower links are actually going to need to be bent or curved or something. You'll see I've got the wheels kind of turned here. So you can see that that link can't be straight. It's going to have to have a bend in it so that the uh, wheels will be able to turn left and right. So next up we will get to work on that. In the front, I'm going to start with the lower links. They're kind of the more difficult part of uh, the front suspension. And I went ahead and made myself a fixture. This fixture will hold all the parts in the right orientation. I've got the threaded end so I can actually adjust the length of the lower links. And then just a plain bushing at this end. So now we just need to go bend a piece of tubing and uh, tack it in there and make sure it works.
All right, now I just need to uh, notch these tubes to fit this bushing and this threaded bung here, and then I'll have two bent lower links. Okay, boys, where can people find us on Facebook and Instagram? Lodo Meal! Look at Lodo Meal! to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Mash that like button if you enjoyed this video. And please, share this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.